uh, we will look at the time series again and using the library FPP2 and to run the model directly in our console. So that's uh, would be the preparation step before you display the stocks or the other time series in the shiny or the other dashboard interfaces. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, program first. Let's just start the R Studio. A little bit slow. And let me find the directories. I'm going to find the folder and uh, set it as the working directory. So that's the file what we're going to use for this. And we can run it line by line to check whether this will give us a reasonable uh, prediction or not. I'll make the, the font a little bit uh, bigger. First, uh, we'll we will read the data and I will skip the uh, display of the data and we only choose uh, the closing price and the, and the date uh, the stocks uh, close and I set it as the date because we read it from the uh, CSV file, we need to convert it before we display it in the um, console. So this time we use the native plot function in R uh, to display the, the closing price um, in the last 12 months. Then let's load the FPP2 library. And uh, I found that we need to load the deployer library in order to run this chain command somehow. But this uh, FPP2, sometimes it just uh, does not run very well. We use the auto arima faction from F FPP2 package um, to build a model, which is called arima HSBC. Uh, that's the stocks we selected as an example. We can also can but run the model as well as displayed um, 10 steps ahead or it's equivalent to two uh, working weeks. Um, so on this side, it will display the original time series as well as the 10 days uh, prediction. Looks like it is just a, a flat line. There's another package and it is um, involves a little bit uh, uh, manual definition, but it's a very um, intuitive to check uh, the, the residues, to check the uh, normality of the residues that give you uh, some idea um, on how the model works and whether it is a valid or not. Let's run this uh, to this package called 
A S T S A. Um, I believe it is a professor uh, uh, from University of uh, Pittsburgh I wrote this package. Let's load the package. Uh, we selected the model as the uh, one uh, zero one zero actually to just the, the difference and the D um, equals one. So that's the model. Uh, let's zoom a little bit to uh, look at the the data. On the top, uh, that's kind of the residues uh, from this model. Uh, the order is a, a zero one zero. It's like a P D Q. That's uh, auto regression and the difference as well as the moving average combination. So we look at that there's nothing um, abnormal for the uh, residues and uh, the distribution of the residues there are some uh, points across the log uh, not along the line that means it's an not uh, normally distributed um, we also can check uh, the p-values for these uh, residues nothing um, below uh, this line which means it's kind of a roughly pseudo uh, uh, normal or acceptable well so that's that's the overall uh, model that's the last line it can also display the 10 um, predictions uh, what's your value and and that's the predictions for the uh, value that's the uh, residues and this is the display uh, for these uh, uh, 10 points um, prediction and with the intervals uh, different um, darkness of the sheet so this is uh, nothing new compared to the uh, last video um, but this is a uh, preparation step before you can integrate your your data your model into the uh, dashboard uh, such as a shiny well this is it for today if you're interested um, please uh, sub subscribe my channel thank you